Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Gemini. So let's go ahead and tune your energy, Gemini. All right, for those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to the channel. And for those of you already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well, welcome back, my lovelies. I just wanted to put it out there real quick that I have some space available on my schedule for some personal readings if you guys are interested. All my information is down there in that description box below. Also, if you haven't already, please make sure before you leave to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's get into this. Our first card that comes out is the free card. Now, the free card is all about, you know, you releasing yourself from, I believe, a toxic individual. I think it's time for you to sever ties, Gemini, and get to your life. I think it's time that you understand that there's a beautiful, beautiful world out there that somebody's been confining you from. All right. So let me open a channel here. Ascended Masters, Angels and Guides, those who have crossed over, please guide us to the highest and best messages. Thank you, Record Keepers. I just want to thank my angels for showing up and distributing all of that intuitive information so that I may give the messages freely to the highest and best in the sign of Gemini. All right. Blessed be, blessed be. It is done, is done, is done. And so it is. All right, we had a few cards pop out here. Let me get to a couple more and then we'll get into it here. Um, I wanna go back to this card here, uh, the free card. And the free card is all about, you know, you kind of forgiving and understanding what took place. Um, it's you being in a place of awareness to sever those toxic ends of your life that no longer serve you. Now, Gemini, you have to forgive that person and you have to be in a place of gratitude. You know, totally giving gratitude for the relationship and, and the purpose that it served in your life, even though you think that it, parts of it is toxic, there was some valuable lessons to learn there to help you be in a place where you understand your own value. So understanding that space is very beautiful. All right, we do have our clear, cancel, and release. And this card's all about you removing the toxic energy of that experience and understanding that it no longer is part of your life. You have released it, you have transmuted the energy, and now you're moving on. All right, Gemini. So I think we're in a space of that release. It's scary because we're like, something seemed, even though it was to um, toxic, it seemed, uh, I would say, normal and so I think that in that space in that relationship there was a lot of abuse I feel like that person maybe talked down to you or maybe physically hurt you whatever the case may be here Gemini I think that Archangel Michael came in to protect you and to allow you to create this release from this individual and you know, when you let go of things and you free yourself from some things, other beautiful things come in. And so we do have a romance coming in for those of you that are male, female, cross watcher, whoever's tuning in, this is a non-gender reading, know that romance and connection are starting to be attracted into your life. I think because you asked for it. I think that you went deep within. Some of you Geminis are really introverted. And you went inside. You asked all those questions and you did the work. You did the work so you could free yourself from that which was holding you back from your beautiful life. And for that reason, you know, you had to create some inner child healing. I feel like maybe there was um, some parts and pieces of you um, that had to be experienced with this situation so that you could get to a place of healing, you know, inner child healing and, you know, really come to a, a more beautiful space with yourself. Now, as you were healing yourself, you were raising your vibration. And so, like I said, sometimes those things will 
vibrate out of our life. And I've said this in other readings that I've done for you, Gemini, is sometimes they can't sustain that higher vibrational system that you are. And so as we move into healing, we start to create this spiritual growth within. And nobody understands this but us. You know, it's like no one's walking your shoes but you. So, you know, you really have to look at it from that perspective and know that, you know, there's some growth here to be had. Now, there is this holy love, this holy trinity love that comes in and allows you to see yourself more valuable, more beautiful, maybe smarter. And this is allowing you to gain that confidence back into your life so that, you know, you can uh, relax and not be so guarded and have a little bit of ease and grace. And so with that being said, I would say that this introspection that's actually happening right now is for your best. You know, there's this beautiful transformation that's happening with you. And as you release, you start to feel less and less tied down and less and less baggage is holding you back. And so I say, go into that space. Don't be scared to surrender into your transformational space and, you know, create some compromise with yourself. You know, create some composure as to the situation. You know, here's a, a compassion card. Here's some composure. And composure and compassion, I say, are pretty close together because, you know, you're calming yourself from the situation. You're illuminating yourself. You're um, creating, you know, this love, this higher understanding of the lesson that was learned. And I think it dropped you right into a place of self-acceptance. And so that's a beautiful space to be, right? Let's get into some other cards here. All right. Let's create that little opening. Sended masters, angels, and guides, those who have crossed over, please guide me the highest and best messages for the sign of Gemini. Wow, they all pop out at once. Okay, so we do have discontent. So being in an understanding that that situation from the past created a lot of discontentment and there was a lot of people involved there. I do see with this card that maybe there were some people talking behind other people's back and they weren't really saying the truth. Maybe somebody got caught up in their ego and said, hey, well, they, they act crazy in this, but maybe it was just you calling them out on their stuff. And so all of a sudden you became crazy. Just saying, all right? It restricted you from a lot of ideas and things. I think that they kept you from, you know, having your own mental system, your own mental guidance system so that you can navigate through your life. I think that they really restricted you from, you know, feeling that you were worthy of anything. And, you know, that's not really a good place to be. I think at some point you realized you know, that you were going to have to change things up. You had this epiphany, this almost this awakening that said, golly, why I've been spending the last, you know, few years of my life doing this nonsense with a person that's really not interested in me the way that I want them to be interested in me. And so as the interest, you know, was lessened, you started to get bored. You're like, this person's not putting any energy, no effort into this situation, and I'm being bored. So you started imagining this beautiful life that was about to happen. You started understanding that you could free yourself from the situation instead of, you know, being held back by the barriers of that, of that experience. And so with that imagination, you created this clarity around you uh, that allowed you to have, you know, some intuition, some inner guidance that pushed you past that relationship and allowed you to kind of let go and uh, let live. Now you are in a place of being highly intuitive. So all of this inner child work that you're doing is being guided. You're being guided out of that relationship and that intuition is that force behind that movement. And a lot of great decisions are being made with you at this time. I think that it's important for you to understand that this is all about you. It's not about that other person. I think in the past, uh, you know, you let it be about them and it really wasn't about them. And I think part of this too is you just didn't want to be alone. We have our solitude card. It comes in with our higher self. 
I know you don't want to be alone, but you don't want to be with someone toxic either. You know, they created way too much suffering in your life. And I think that, you know, even though I hate saying this is like, even for myself, I've allowed suffering to come in. We've all allowed suffering to come in, but when we gain that awareness and insight on how to motivate our lives and move past that, we start to experience some unconditional love for ourselves. We can see past all of that toxicity. So let's get into some other cards here. Um, and I honestly feel that with this ending, um, there's going to be an end of a contract. So you guys are going to be done. You're really going to be done that the, the Angels are guiding you out of that situation because they know that you deserve better. And you're going to be victorious in a new situation of new divine love with someone else. All right, so let's get some clarity on that. All right, Ascended Masters, Angels and Guides, those who have crossed over, please guide me the highest and best messages for the sign of Gemini. Come on. Open up a channel for me to get some clarity. Please and thank you. Blessed be. All right. We do have finding balance. Again, as you move out of that situation, you get this newfound freedom and you start to understand that you are deserving of having, you know, a more wonderful life, a more peaceful life, a life that's, you know, not toxic with fighting and, and people being deceitful. And I think that's where your healing is going to begin. You know, you're going to be in that space of just saying, okay, I get it. I get what happened and how do I shift myself out of that? I go into my heart space and that's where all the healing is going to be. You know, even in this picture, you see her heart is illuminated. So, you know, male, female, uh, just know that this is a non-gender reading. And, you know, we do need to detach from that stuff. I think we can only sit in that for so long until we start getting really exhausted and tired of the situation. It's time for you to master your thoughts, master your heart, master your feelings, and don't overreact anymore. You know, you are in a place of creating new stuff. Our solar plexus chakra comes up and says, it's time for you to create your new life. It's time for you to be free of the barriers that that, you know, person was holding you back from. Your dreams are about to come true. So whatever seed you've been planting lately, well, they're coming out. And here we go. Love. So releasing one individual, making space for a new situation brings sacred love. For those of you that are in a current partnership with somebody and you're like, well, we're going to stick it out. Well, it's just going to be, you know, more navigated towards self-healing in both of you. And you are going to be able to free yourself from the past. Maybe your lineage stuff might come up, Gemini. I don't know what the case may be here, but I definitely know that, you know, there's some major things happening at this time. So for those of you in a situation, please stop criticizing one another. It only lead to a further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you and your relationship will magically transform. So allowing you know, that forgiveness to come in. So stop focusing your energy on the past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So again, like I said, there is a space where you are manifesting miracles and manifesting a new life. It says your dream is soon to come true. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. And I'm saying that your guidance is all about, you know, this transformational system of intuition so make sure that you imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life now you do have to be in a place where you know you can't rush into things you have to think things through allow nature to kind of take its course and guide you in the way that it needs you know i say life doesn't uh, work for us it, it unfolds for us and so you know you got to not try so hard you got to give it time you got to surrender you got to let the universe bring what is yours in because uh oh look at this twin flames your passion ignites because that love that you're deserving of well if it isn't in your life right now it's about to pop in well if you guys would like to get a personal reading with me all my information is down there in the description box below and we can go a little bit deeper into this for you also make sure before you leave 
to like, share, and su subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell and that subscription button so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up. And also just want to let you know, I do have some sound healings on my playlist to help you transform and transmute some of that toxic energy and pull out those blocks so you can live that free and deserving life. I love you, Gemini, and I wish you the best. I'm always here to support you, but know that you have free will and that is where you need to stand in your own free will. Make those choices wisely, but listen to your heart. I love you, Gemini. Namaste.